Okay, we're back. Please welcome writer, director, Frank Whaley. And Leighton Meester. And Billy Joe Armstrong. And Fabio Rodenbach. Producer. pages. <laughs> um, I wrote, wrote it by hand on the bottoms of the soles of my shoes. <laughs> Very strange method. Um, it's, um, it was something that I, I uh, just came to me. I wanted to write a, a story about these two people. Uh, I think the, the character, the ideas for the characters came to me first. And um, two, two sort of completely different people from different places in the world who randomly connect to each other and 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 sort of fall uh, in love in a way, and but it's it's sadly the wrong in time and place for everybody, and and um, but the, the beauty is that they're both lonely and and sad in a way, and by the end I think they're they're not that way anymore, and they're for the better for, for having spent this time together. But, um, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Leighton and Billy, how did you get to see the script? How did the script come to you and talk a little bit about your attachment to the project? Uh, I was sent the script. Um, it was my last like month living in New York. I was about to move to LA and I had a meeting the last day that I lived there with Frank at a little restaurant down the street from my apartment. And it ended up being hours long. We had kept ordering meals and <laughs> going to the bathroom. And um, it just was like a long, wonderful meeting. And obviously we talked about the script and the characters and his take on it and how he planned to film it and who he liked for the role of Reggie and sort of his feeling about it, but also just about- I wanted Matt Damon. Yeah. But that went out the window. <laughs> wasn't available. That was, was a few a years back. He was a little too tall. His head was large as well. In person. Yeah, well, well he has a large head, I think. Uh, yeah, but, um, but no, then I, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with that we, yeah. But, but then, we, then we just really, I think, clicked and, and got along, and I, I thought while I was reading it, it, I read it over the course of a couple of days, not really intentionally, but it just really got to sink in. And, um, and then we talked about life and kind of my background and where I come from. And um, it's not the exact same background as Eleanor, but just such a similar kind of feeling and that feeling of going home and um, also feeling kind of lost and, and at a crossroads. And I just really could relate. Um, and then a year late, not maybe a year later, uh, he, got in touch and was like, we're actually doing it. And I was like, oh my god, that's great. Um, and so I was really excited. And then they sent me you know, a tape of Julian Shatkin, who I wish was here, because this is such a, a, a amazing movie for him. Um, and I just cried watching his audition tape. Like, he's just such an angel, and I love him. So yeah. Uh, I got uh, I got the script uh, and Frank sent it and um, <laughs> he said he wanted me to play this uh, part of this guy that's like a shitty boyfriend I guess <laughs> and, uh, and, um, I said sure I can do that that was actually <laughs> But but he uh, I, I'm just honored that he wanted me to be a part of this. I'm it, it's such a beautiful movie, especially this is the first time I got to see it on the screen, and uh, and I'm just blown away blown away by the performances by Leighton especially, and uh, and uh, it's just beautiful. It's just great to be a part of it. It's it's it, 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 and, and my take on this is that you know this film for me it's. Uh, uh, the fact 
uh, the, the the luck that I had with with not only Layton and Billy but with Julian is really the 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 way it all came together. You know, um, my casting director recommended Layton, and I knew her work. I'd seen her work, and I always admired her work. And we sat down, and she said, and we had this conversation. And and I would say maybe five minutes in this conversation, I saw the character sitting across from me, and 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 I think that's why our, our conversation went on and on because we it, it was it was it and. And sometimes, as a director, you're faced with that, and that's that's something that rarely happens. It hasn't ever happened to me before as a director, and I, and, and I can't imagine I would have such good fortune. And with Billy, my casting director, we, we decided that that would be good to have somebody who had a musical background. I had heard Billy had been in a band and, <laughs> uh, and uh, Blue Week, and um, and so she said, "How about Billy?" And I said, "And and and I had seen Billy in an episode of Nurse Jackie, which I still remember. It's if you you got to track down this episode of Nurse Jackie because it's the most amazing work on television I can I can like, since since my own work on NCIS. No, but and but uh, but this work blew me away. And I said, "We got to have him. And how can we get him in the movie? He's perfect for this part." And the thing about the thing about that role is it's not simple. It's not. Um, it's complicated to make a guy that whiny <laughs> and unlikable. And, but also, everybody's had that boyfriend at some point, and it was, it was Marco. But but for, for 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 a film that was shot in twenty days, to have a performance like this person gives. Um, every moment for me, and I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable in front of these people, but I think they would agree, that it's one of the most pure and beautiful and honest and moving and simple performances you're going to see in a movie. I take most of the credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> but she delivers it, and, and the kid, you give, you give a kid that age enough coffee and you can get anything. <laughs>